everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I think today I'm in the uh, baby steps of screening my firewood ash uh, into turning it into cash. So let's get right into today's video. All right, those of you who consistently tune in know, but let me bring you guys up to speed if you guys are new joining us. We heat our home here with an outdoor wood boiler. Now let me show you a clip of that right now, and then we'll get right back into today's video. All right, so that's basically our unit. It's not a fireplace, it's a little different beast, um, but it produces a fair amount of ash. So what we came up with is this screen here that I think will help us uh, screen our ash so we can use our ash for, let's say, garden, traction in the snow. So we have a full barrel of ash right now. Let's grab it, bring it over here. Let's lay our little, I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you our little screen filter setup. And let's see if it works. So let me go grab our barrel. All right, folks, so what we have here, this is our empty barrel. Hopefully, it's not too loud, but that's clear. But anyways, let me show you what we built. I'm not done with it yet, um, but we basically took a wire mesh, as you can see, and we picture framed around it with uh, some two by fours. And we're gonna lean it over, then we're gonna go get our full barrel of ash, and we're gonna scoop it in and try to sift it. Now, obviously, I'm not done with this yet, but I need to do some corner boards. So I don't waste the ash and uh, whatnot and get nails everywhere. But we're going to give it a shot today and we'll modify it after. I might even build a platform for it. We'll see. So let's go get the bucket. All right, folks. So let's show you what we got going on here. Again, this is our barrel full of ash. Um, and this is what we built. This is just very primitive. This is a fine wire mesh. Again, I don't know the size of the holes. I don't know the gauge of it, but we picture framed some two by fours here and then we screwed it down and then we picture framed again another grouping of two by fours over it. Sorry, it's a little awkward. But anyways, it lays in here just like such. We need to obviously finish cutting with the bandsaw, you know, traces outline so it's a perfect seal because obviously we're going to get some blow by, but we're going to give it a shot today. So let's put the respirator on. Let's scoop some in. We'll kind of shake it around. Let's see if we can get straight cleaned ash through our screen into our barrel so we can use that right, for various so ash things. is very nasty. So what I use is, and people have asked me, this is a 3M um, noise, N-I-O-S-H respirator. It says 6001 on it. Um, that might be the filters, but this is what I use for wood ash. This is a painting respirator I got from my father. So again, we're outside, it's well ventilated, but we're not gonna take any chances. So let's throw this on, set you guys up, and let's see how it works. All right, folks, so let's see how that worked. As you can see here, we're left with just charcoal, nails, and screws. Let's take this off. Put this on our other barrel. And I think that is pure ash, if I've ever seen it. So let me put my respirator back on, we'll show you. All right, so let's take you guys off. I don't know about you, but that looks like pure, clean ash. Perfect. All right, so now let's take this empty cat litter jug and let's dump all this back into here. What I actually would do, I think I'm onto something. I, I'm gonna figure out, and feel free to leave me a comment, a way to get the nails separate from this, because this is good charcoal. This is just unburnt, unburnt wood. So that is great fire starter for the machine. Again, I'm dropping nails, so I'm trying to be careful. I don't really drive any equipment here, so let's see if we can scrape the top of this off. Um, 
And again, this is just baby steps. I might, depending on what you guys leave me for comments, I might redesign this or redo this. I don't know. But you get the idea. It's working, so we're going to roll with it for now. Just so I was just looking at that camera. It almost seems like if I had just like an opening here or a hinge where I could scrape everything out, I think that would work. So again, feel free to leave me some comments, but it works. That is pure screened ash there. So let's go ahead and empty this out. Because um, again, this is charcoal. We could reburn this. We could throw this. If we just had this, we can throw this all back into the machine. Um, because that would be good to get the coal bed going again. So I don't want to waste that. All right, so we got that our screen cleaned off. We have a half a cat litter bucket full of pretty much charcoal. We're gonna screen the rest of this and then we'll show you how much we got at the very end. So yeah, let's keep doing what we did and we'll catch up with you in a minute. All right, folks, well, I am tickled fancy. So again, here is our screen. Put it back on here. There was our screen, we got it all cleaned off. This is what we're left with. Three half a trash can load of pure ash look at this there's not a nail to be had in there so we can rescreen that too if we wanted but we have two cat litter jugs of charcoal and nails now i think what i can do is if i uh if i get some type of magnet and magnetize that screen i think i can get all the charcoal off of there because this charcoal is good for like uh to screen purify water or i could just reburn it back in the machine so having charcoal on hand is not a bad thing but two bins of charcoal with the nails and screws and then literally half a trash can full of pure filtered ash with that screen so i would say that is a success folks Thank you guys for watching. I have to run. Um, I think we're going to modify and hopefully there's not ash all over my face. I'm not really sure. Probably, but oh well. Um, yeah, make sure two things. You wear a respirator and your ash is cool. Um, this stuff has been sitting in the barrel for a week, so it wasn't hot at all. But yeah, needless to say, half a can, half a trash can full of ash, two bins full of charcoal. I'm a happy man. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. And like I always say, we will see you out in the woods.